I have a lot of butternut squash that are ready to pick. Uh, I have a lot that are not ready to pick. And it can be a little bit tricky um, if you're new to butternut squash knowing when to pick them because they can be all different colors. The vines can be different colors. They can be different shapes and lengths. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple of things that I like to look for that uh, usually lets me know that they're ready to pick. So here's our first example. Now this little guy is not real big, but it's got a nice yellow color to it. It's a mature color. It does have a little bit of the green vine or a green striping coming down, but it looks like it's really drying up and turning all yellow. So this amount of green striping doesn't really bother me. This stem is starting to turn yellow or light brown in contrast with the rest of the vine. And this is a good indication that this is getting ready to pick. The stem will kind of dry up and harden up. It's got a nice deep color. So I could probably pick that one and uh, feel pretty good about it. So here's our second one. This one has zero green striping. It is all matured. It's got a nice color, not quite as deep, but it's definitely a mature color in contrast to that one right there which is a much lighter, almost a lime light green. This is a more yellow. You can see this stem, this one has not really turned brown yet. Um, so I could probably pick this one based on its color and no striping, but I could wait a little bit and see, uh, see if that stem starts to turn brown. Now this is kind of an interesting one. It's a very light color on the squash, zero green striping, and the stem has started to turn yellow. You can see this one's really turning. So this is probably ready just based on the amount of browning of this stem. But this just goes to show you how light and how many different colors they can be. Um, this vine is a really light color as well. I don't know if this vine isn't as healthy or happy, um, but this is just a really light colored plant all the way around. So this one is definitely ready. This stem is browning, which means this is probably not getting as much nutrients for growth. So it's probably ready just based on this right here, um, along with the, the zero green striping uh, and a really light yellow. So this is kind of interesting shape. Uh, this squash is obviously not ready. It's very light green. Uh, basically, it's just completely uh, the wrong color. So the stem is not turning brown. It doesn't really have green stripes, but that green color in contrast you know, to a yellow one like this tells me that this guy is not ready. So as you can see, all kinds of shapes and sizes. Now, they all taste about the same, but one thing I would recommend is eating the small ones like this first. Because what will happen is these will start to shrivel right here at the neck and they'll lose their moisture content and they'll rot. Whereas oftentimes big ones like this, or like this, they'll last up to a year. So one thing you might notice, if I can get a good shot here, is how much uh, water and juice are coming out of these stems. And what you don't want to do is go inside and put this on a shelf above something like a bookcase or your cabinet and just have this drip on the counter because it will make a sticky mess. So what you want to do is put some paper towels down on your rack or your, or your shelf. Let these heal up before you store them on or above anything that you don't want to get dripped on. I learned that the hard way. I had some stored above my computer and that made a big mess. I was blaming my kids for getting the computer all sticky, uh, but it turns out it wasn't them. It was my butternut squash. So this is a one year old butternut squash. It's actually probably older than a year. It's very light for its size. Started to go a little bit soft up here, but it's still firm overall. So we're gonna cut into this thing and kinda test how long of a shelf life these really have. And it's rotten. <laughs> There we go. There's some good edible meat there. These top pieces here are a little bit dried out. They're probably still edible. There's just not a lot of substance there. And 
there's nothing wrong with the way this looks. Yeah, look at that. So this is probably, shoot, I don't even know, like 14 months old? Depending on when we harvested this squash last year. It's been sitting on our counter in the kitchen, or on a shelf in the kitchen. Not, refri not refrigerated or anything. The neck is a little bit dried out. But the bottom here, the bulb, is just fantastic looking for, <laughs> for its age. So I would normally peel this with a potato peeler first, but I forgot. Uh, so I just kind of peeled it with a knife. Now I'm just going to slice it into cubes. Just look how good that meat looks though. I mean that is, that is amazing. This, is, this has just been sitting on my counter for over a year. It's very light. But it's still got plenty of moisture in it. Uh, it's it's uh, very firm. It's it's really remarkable. But how does it taste? All right, so now I'm just gonna throw this in a pot. And I'm gonna make a puree with it to kind of go over uh, some rice. Maybe mix it with a sweet potato. And that's kind of my preferred way to eat these. So the way I like to eat these is uh, I like to make a puree out of them. So basically I'm going to take equal parts of butternut squash and sweet potato, dice them up, steam them like mashed potatoes, and then uh, mix it up with an immersion blender. And uh, yeah, and then it just is an excellent topper for like rice dishes or casseroles. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and peel the sweet potato. All right, so I've got about roughly equal parts sweet potato and uh, butternut squash here. So I'm just going to throw them in the pot. And I'll add a little bit of water to this, just about, you know, maybe a quarter inch on the bottom to help steam them. And then once they become soft, I'll just blend them up. Just going to throw in a little bit of chicken broth. 